What's up guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be reacting to the seventh episode of By the Grace of the Gods. This one's titled Starting the Business with the Slimes. Uh, apologies this one is two days late, um, but things happen sometimes. Um, rather it be in the middle of the week rather than the weekend, because oh god I don't think I'd ever recover. But anyway, uh, we are now starting to split from the Jamil family. Uh, despite having good experience with them and enjoying our time with them, we don't want to impose too much longer, or at least Ryoma doesn't want to impose too much longer uh, on his time there, um, as much as it is beneficial to him. He wants to make his own way in life, which is fair. Also quite immature for, for an 11-year-old to have, but again, he's a 40-year-old at heart, um, so I guess it's not that surprising. Um, I expect... Well, there's two ways this can go. I'm expecting um, Eliaria. Was that her name? Yes, Eliaria. Eliaria. God, I hate saying her name. Um, she's going to be upset, obviously, because uh, they're getting kind of close and they're like enjoying each other. So I imagine she'll be like surprised by it and be like, "Well, oh, why do you have to go?" Or possibly, I think they said she was going to be on her way to the capital at some point. Uh, one of you mentioned it in a comment. I, I, I vaguely remember that. So unless he's going to go with her to the capital, start his new life, essentially, or business, as it seems. Maybe he's going to go to the capital as a way to start his business and then uh, travel with her as well. I don't know. Uh, unless, well, it's entirely possible we might be getting a time skip. I have no 100% conclusive evidence, but in in the OP, you can see that um, we see Eliaria it, more grown up than we currently have her at least in that depiction of her, unless it was just a difference in art style for the OP, but she looked more grown up in that instance and was playing an instrument, like a violin or something. So unless there's going to be a time skip, skip as he works on his business, a couple of years go by, and then all of a sudden we see on our journey to the capital, or coming back from the capital, we run into her again, maybe. Um, that's how I kind of see it going. Um, but I guess we'll wait and see. Uh, what business he's going into? Something that's going to use his slimes, almost certainly. Um, I mean, the fact that he has unique slimes that he could use for it means he could basically do anything that the slimes can do. Um, uh, like, he might go into making products like he did, like, like what mine did. Mine went into make products and sell the product licenses and all that. Um, I don't know what else. I mean, he's got the cleaner slimes he could do some work with. He's got the, the ones that eat all the grime and stuff, so that's an option for him. Um, what else? I mean, he could do he could do anything his slimes can do, essentially. And he's got so many of them. And here's the thing. By this, his slimes doing business and doing whatever they're doing, he's going to get more of them. Which means his business is just going to keep growing more and more the more he trades. So he's going to probably become very well known in whatever town he decides to settle in. Whether it be this one or maybe go to the capital. Um, the word of his shop, whatever it ends up being, is going to be, it's going to be spread pretty quickly pretty quickly because it's going to be something that probably does not exist uh it's probably going to be a modern idea brought into this world so i'm excited to see where he goes with that and also and a bonus i just forgot bonus um if he does travel somewhere else say he goes to the capital he could just come back to this town wherever he wants with his warping like he could run multiple different shops in different places if he wanted to I just didn't even think about that. He could have a franchise and just, he could have a shop of his in every single town and he could just vroom, 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 vroom between them all at a moment's notice. It's like, oh, uh, I'm requested in uh, this town. Okay, uh, you've got all that. I'll see you in a minute. Vroom. And he's now in the other town. So, yeah. Yeah, he could very easily have like so many chains of his business and just, yeah. He's going to be the Amazon of this world. Mark my words, like, if, if this show was to go through to its logical conclusion, he would be the Amazon of this world and just do everything and provide everything you could ever need. Um, so, actually, he'd be a combination of Amazon. He'd be a combination of Google. He'd be, like, every high school, high school, high street shop bought into one, essentially, is what he would be. I don't know what equivalent, really, that is. I don't know, what is, is there an equivalent, like, brand that does, like, everything? I don't think there is. If there was, I don't think it would be supported too much, because that's, like, having a, uh, having a, um, monopoly on everything, and that would be pretty bad if it went that way, but whatever. 
Uh, let's get the episode up here. I've rambled on too far already. I just want to watch some anime. As per usual, these are time-based format reactions. Bottom left of the screen, you're going to see the timer for the episode. I'll count you down three, two, one, play. Then I'll play you, start the episode. I start the episode, and we'll be in sync. Watching this one animation as per usual, since that's who's licensed it this season. They've licensed basically everything this season. That's worth watching. Uh, Crunchyroll has like one day where they have some good shows, and then that's basically it. It's kind of sad. Um, yeah, two days. Uh, but yeah, we've got the Funimation logo to start, as per usual. Seven second logo, there or thereabouts, to help you sync up. You can also use uh, screen flash on my face or on the mic to tell when seasons are transitioning as well. So, with all that said, uh, let me just reset my timer here, because that's something I almost forgot to do. It doesn't make too much of a difference, but it's just nice for my peace of mind. Here we go in three, two, one, play. Formation logo, cheers to that. Here we go. Yep, immediately early Aria. Okay. Fair. Mm hmm. Hmm. Partially. But he does a lot of work to deserve that spoiledness. Don't forget. So, I don't think he's truly spoiled. I love how they're all peeking in. I know B-Time, okay. I'll see if I can point out where uh, the Aria looks a bit older. To explain why I think a time skip might exist. Because obviously, there she looks exactly like she should. See here, she looks more grown up. A little bit, at least. So I think there might be a bit of a time skip there. Especially because there was an outfit change as well. Still got a bunch of these characters to meet as well. I assume in setting up our business, that's going to be part of it. Alright. Sign the business with the slimes, indeed. No, I don't think it's forever. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> There you go, the Royal Capital. <laughs> He's already more incredible than most adults, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you did? Ah, uh -huh. okay, they kind of expected it from him. Mm hmm Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I don't think he will. That is true. What are these conditions? You get a discount with whatever you make. Okay, just write a letter to let us know. Makes sense. 
Come visit every now and then. Makes sense. Don't be afraid to ask for help. Good conditions. Oh, he's about to cry. So she. Oh boy, here we go. Come visit me in the capital. Three years and six years, okay. Almost certainly going to be a time skip then, okay. Oh, okay. So we're almost certainly see her again in three years here. I don't think we'll do a six year time skip in this anime. They might. But... <laughs> You'll be dead if you forget. Because she's going to get more powerful than magic. She'll try and kill you. <laughs> However, six-year time skip makes him 17. Allows more romance subplot, I guess. Because it's obviously going to try and get romance subplot between these two. <laughs> uh... <laughs> I like this family a lot. Grell Frog Outbreak, okay. Aha, okay. So very useful resources. Okay. Limo birds. Okay. Ah, the bird from the opening, okay. Oh. Okay, as tamers, yep, they would be interested in that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you'll be around. By running a business. Okay. Or as an adventurer. Okay. And that's the business bit. Okay. Laundry, of course. Okay. That would be very valuable. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> No, oh, okay, pass it off. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. However, I'll discuss that in a second. Oh, job request. Hmm. Okay, just keep a check on it, make sure nothing respawns essentially. Mm -hmm. That's just what happens. You make connections with people, you help each other. That's why you make these connections. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.
Demonstrating his wares. So yeah, my point with the, the, the slimes and cleaning. If people were throwing it away and having to buy new ones, is he not going to have an impact on the armor makers and stuff and those that will be making money off that? As I see a point, a conflict possibly arising there. Yes. We should probably register there. <laughs> yes. Well, you don't have to just do goblin grime. You can do any other form of grime. You can do specialty cleanings where we come to your house. It's a lot more potential than just Goblin Grime. Uh, he's so happy. <laughs> so you can make some money off it as well, okay. He, he I think he gets excited about money. <laughs> That will work. I love these little uh, like uh, outbreak things. They're great. Okay, here's the guild master. I'm guessing. The Sierra. Okay. Slime's so scared. Slime's so scared. Mm hmm. Where are we going to put it? <laughs> Okay. It's probably a pretty decrepit building, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Burned down, okay. Bar in and warehouse. Do you have a slight... Oh, he can build. I. He can absolutely build. And it's not a... um. It's not a loud business, so you don't have to worry about imposing on the locals. It's convenient loca conveniently located. Yeah, no problems. I wonder how long is it going to take to him to repair it, though. Oh, we're already getting employees. On loan, but... Mm-hmm. Don't just run it all yourself. Mm-hmm. But it's someone you have to absolutely trust. <laughs> Putting their words on it. Yeah, I don't think he's much of a manager. He's a great creator. Mm-hmm. You're 11. Yes. Right. It doesn't seem to have transferred. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah. Mm hmm. Okay, de weeding. The entire building? So we just melted the entire building, have a clear plot of land? Okay, just completely rebuild. Nice. I thought you'd try and repair. Holy cow. Holy cow. Pavement? He has that as a spe- Okay. Insane. I love it. Using the sticky solution to work as a form of cement. Wow. He's already done it. <laughs> Doing the new flooring. Mm hmm. Very true. Oh. <laughs> and the rainbow, nice. Ah, uh, painting, okay. Mm-hmm. Makes sense, yeah. He does. I think he deserves more than an E, honestly. But mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. I'm sure you will. Yeah. All these people we met along the way and supporting. Gotta love it. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we should. Ah, okay. Ah, okay. <laughs> hmm. Okay. Flowers always nice. Yeah. Although she wouldn't know. Hmm. How are we going to explain this? <laughs> Well played. Can you do that? Yes. <laughs> it's interesting he had that job. I didn't know he had that side of him as well. <laughs> I'm sure there's a magic he's got that will help. Makes 
make sense. It's a good idea. You can speak to the gods, I guess, more than likely. Almost certainly going to speak to the gods. This music, I love it. Oh, really? Okay. <laughs> uh, of course she is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Wow. Excuse me. Wow. <laughs> wow, that was quick. Oh, really? Interesting. Oh. Oh. So that means in the future... In the future, he's just going to keep getting way better. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. But you're still incredible for this age, don't forget. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I guess next time we'll be seeing how it goes. Yep. All right. I don't think there's any more. It might be uh, next episode title less about it though. That was a good one. These episodes continue to go pretty quickly. I love it. But yeah, his laundry business is absolutely gonna be a success. I do wonder if it's going to have, or if they're going to explore the idea of how it knocks onto other businesses. I mean, that's part of the. Um, that's just part of being a business, right? Like, if you come up with a new idea or a new technology that helps with an idea, you're going to naturally impact someone else's business, and often in a negative way. Because some of the customers that were going to that business no longer need to use that business as frequently or at all if they've got the other one. But still. You could even start up a whole made business. Like, he could hire maids, and they each have their own assigned cleaning slime, potentially. I mean, that would be one hell of a service to rent out, so... There's infinite possibilities. Okay, that's it. No episode title. So we don't know what's coming next. Actually, I do know what's coming next, because we have a, a thing called Wikipedia that exists. Uh, so the next episode title is meant to be called Laundry Shop Business with the Slimes. Okay. So yeah, continuing on with what the actual laundry business itself actually ends up being, I guess. Cool. The fact that some people saying, like... Apparently some stuff was cut here, like, with in regards to all the people that we met and the connections we made. 
um, from the original, I guess. Uh, let me know if they actually did cut that much. Uh, didn't really feel like it. Also, some people are calling this the worst episode, and it's just, like, void of substance. I'm like, you an idiot? You clearly don't know what the rest of the show has been if you think this is somehow worse than any of the others, but whatever. Um, right, let's mark that off before I forget, because I'm terrible at remembering. So, yeah, almost certainly, at some point, we're having a time skip. I don't know if it's going to happen in anime, or if it's going to be, like, time skip for next season or something, but we definitely know we're getting a time skip, because... Aliaria will be moving off to the capital, and then in three years' time, we will be seeing her again. Uh, and then three years after that, we'll also be seeing her. And by that point, they will be... Well, Ryoma will be 17, 18, around about there. Uh, is Eliaria the same age as him, I'm guessing? Uh, Eli well, I've got to be careful about... Uh, I've got to be careful about Googling stuff. Okay, 11-year-old girl becomes uh, Ryoma's close friend. Okay, so they're the same age. Got it. See, I had to be careful about Googling stuff about a character because I know, like, all that information is usually with manga information included, especially if you go on, like, some uh, show's wiki pages and such. So, thankfully, I just popped up in, like, the, you know, the little thing that Google does uh, to give you straight away the answer that you're looking for. Um, so, yeah, same age. So, they both be about 17 by the time uh, they reconvene in six years' time after school. So easily, easily going to do a romance plot. They could honestly start the romance subplots. Well, they kind of have already started it to an extent, right? Like, I don't think it's not very, it's not very well shown here because they're only eleven. It's like romance to an eleven-year-old is weird. Like weird, not in the sense of that it's bad, but in the sense of like. 11-year-olds don't know what romance really is or what love truly is. It's as you grow up and go through puberty and uh, meet different people, experience more of life, that you start to understand what it means to care for someone in that way. Um, 14, I think you can start to see some of the awkwardness that might arise from being quite close with someone. And by 17, I imagine, I assume the show will get to the point of having an actual romance subplot to it. Because it's pretty obvious that they can go that way. It's just a case of how much they want to go that way, you know? Uh, I have no idea if the manga has gone that far. I mean, it's only been going for... Or the light novel, I should say, because the light novel is uh, further ahead than the manga. But in nine volumes of uh, light novel... Are we up to nine? Yeah, we're up to nine. Uh, next year, we'll probably see uh, the tenth novel. Um, yeah, uh... I'm sure by the time they get to that time skip point, they can start including some romance subplots, but as of right now, it's like, we don't need it. Um, no spoilers, by the way, on how far the light novel is, because I don't want to know, just in case this does get a season two, season three, etc., etc. Uh, I would not be surprised to see this get a season two, because somehow, and this isn't me knocking the show in any way, it's a very enjoyable show. Like, as isekais go, it's very enjoyable it's relaxing, it's light-hearted, it's... It doesn't try to do the... Uh, the world in danger type thing that most isekai-esque shows end up doing. It's just enjoyment slice of life, which detracts from some people, it must be said. Uh, I mean, just uh, look at it. Like, this is apparently a 64 percenter, and I think that's not only the... Not only the fact that it's slice of life and all just light, fluffy cheeriness, but also the fact that it's an isekai, which grates on some people's minds. Slice of life grates on some people's minds. The simple art style grates on some people's minds. It's like, it's got a lot of things that, at least in the West, is a major detraction for some people who are just looking for the beautiful action type show. And as a result, unfortunately, just with the way rankings go, people rate the show... I mean, it's fair to rate it on your personal enjoyment, but people will negatively put this as like a one or a two in their minds just because it's not their type of story to enjoy, as opposed to just saying, not my type of story, but it was doing okay and just leaving it like a four or a five. Um, as such, shows like this end up getting like a low score because of it. Uh, even though as isekais and slice of lives go, this is one of the better ones. So anyway, every show's subject to that, so I guess it works out at the end, but still. It's just my personal gripe with it, because it happens a lot to idol shows as well. Idol shows get shit on a lot if they're not a mainstream idol show. 
like Love Live does very well for itself because it already has it has the huge franchise behind it already. Uh, whereas new startup ones like um, Lapis Relights, for example, got shit on quite a lot, and I don't understand why. Because as new idle premises go, it is one of the most exciting I think out there. And I'm still waiting for the goddamn game to come out. They've been posting so much good stuff about... Like, we've seen all the um, rare cards come out. They're doing the super rares right now. Or special rares, or whatever they're calling them. Uh, with the animated backgrounds. Like, they're all animated cards. Unlike uh, other uh, genres, which only put, like, uh, the special cards as animated. Or live 2D, I should say. Um, but anyway, yes. Uh, back to the show. Um, very enjoyable. I like how they're doing it, and this launch business can be very successful. I do wonder if they will add that element of conflict in at a later date, or if they'll just keep it light and fluffy, and blah, blah, blah. Um, but yeah, it it's still... It'll still work out just fine for him, I'm sure. Um, but I do wonder how they end this season. What do they end the season on? Do they end on the three-year time skip into reunion type deal, or what do they do? There must be some big event that happens, and with with five episodes left to go, I think we might start seeing the beginnings of said event. Probably not next episode, since we'll be still focusing on Laundry Shop. Uh, maybe episode nine will start to lay the groundwork of what the, the final arc of this show will end up being. So, I'll look forward to that. Anyway, thank you everyone for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one as per usual. Uh, leave a like if you did, it helps grow the channel out, as do your comments. Uh, be mindful of spoilers for the light novel and manga, because I feel like this is a show that could quite easily get a uh, second season. Um, to finish my thought from earlier, uh, Funimation, this has a lot of high reviews on Funimation, like on their actual, just the main show page. It's like got 4,000 ratings, which is very rare for Funimation. Funimation doesn't usually have that big of a, a community on... Uh, rating shows that are ongoing and stuff. Crunchyroll is definitely bigger in that regard, and you can very often see, especially episode by episode, how popular certain shows are. Like Jujutsu Kaisen, this season is doing really well, and you can just you can see episode by episode how many people are rating the show with each time. Funimation doesn't really do that so much. Uh, so for Funimation shows to have that much rating, it must be a very enjoyed show. So with a nice Western demand for this show, I'm hoping Japan's also enjoying this a lot. Um, and therefore we we'll, might get a second season of it. So be mindful of spoilers for those coming up, but we know there's going to be potential for time skips, because I don't think we're going to go a full three years of animation without seeing Eliaria. I feel like Eliaria is a fairly main character in this regard, so they'll probably skip two, three years ahead so we can have more stories with her, and then we'll skip six years ahead so we can then have a romance subplot in that, and that's where my... that's where I think the author's going with it, at least. Anyway... Uh, don't forget to hit subscribe as well to see next week's episode as well as the rest of the full 2020 like you can find on the channel. I promise next week will be on time. Until next time, see you guys later.